So are you looking for some ideas for Easter decor? Well, I have a lot of Easter decor and in today's video, I want to show you my collection of bunnies and eggs. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today and Boo my cat. I really hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old this year. And why do I say it? Because if I can do it, you can do it too. I want to take a moment and thank all my wonderful subscribers. I appreciate every one of you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, so you don't miss any of my DIY lifestyle and decorating videos. <sighs> anyway, without further ado, I wanted to show you my collection of bunnies um, that I've collected over the past, I don't know, 50 something years and um, kind of how I decorate them a little bit. And I, then I want to show you my eggs, decorated eggs uh, from small eggs to big dioramas. I have gigantic polka dot eggs. I have all kinds of eggs. So I'm sure you're going to get inspired to do some new Easter decor this year. So without further ado, here's the egg extravaganza of eggs and bunnies. I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my egg extravaganza, you guys. I put most of my collection of my eggs on my dining room table so I could actually show you some ideas for displaying them. So I'm gonna start in the very back. I have my um, my arrangement I had on my mantle, the purple and yellow arrangements on there. Now, I have a ton of these eggs. You know, these are the fancy ones, printed ones. You know, they're the ones that are 90% off during, well, right, th th these are the ones that are 90% off during um, the sale after Easter. So I just want to show you, but this is one way you can display them. Just put them in a big apothecary jar. You can maybe do Easter grass, layer Easter grass in there. These are my gigantic purple eggs and I just put the polka dots on them with a little round brush. And then of course I have the smaller ones here also. Now coming down the table, this is a little green ball I got from Hobby Lobby and I just wanted to show you. You know how you cut your flowers off when you you know you don't use them in a bush you keep them because th that's all these are there was a flower on this and i just um cut it off and stuck it in there so i want to show you if you're doing a floral arrangement and you want eggs to pop out that's how to do it and this is a very simple look a beautiful bird's nest with natural eggs and i just tucked in some purple and pink flowers so a bird's nest is a great way to display them. And then I have a little tiny one here with little tiny eggs in it and some purple lilacs and a little yellow flower. Now I wanna show you the egg dioramas I made. A diorama is something that's in a box or some container and it's three dimensional. So you can see on this one here, I put one of those Dollar Tree Easter signs and then did my bunny and flowers all around. So it looks like it's three dimensional. You know the little sugar eggs, you could look in and see bunnies and lambs and stuff. That was my idea. Now what it's sitting in is my burlap egg. It's not really burlap. It's actually made out of that coconut fiber that you put in baskets to grow plants in. And I just cut it right here and then brought the two pieces together to form an oval. And I hot glued it together. And then I just hot glued this little ruffled burlap all the way around. And I made a burlap stand for it. And then here's another one here. I used a little chick sign from Dollar Tree with some flowers and a little baby chick is in there. And then you can see I have a burlap stand. But what's so great about these is you can take the things out. I could put all flowers in there. I could put my lambs in there. I think these are so adorable, especially with the rustic burlap uh, runner that I have here. Now, in that same vein, I wanna show you what else I made. I took half of one of these eggs, you know, that, that are slid across horizontally like that. 
and I put inside some bunny, a bunny and a chick and some flowers and made it three dimensional. I glued on the crepe paper and the little trim and I made these little diorama, egg dioramas that you can stand up. And I made this one too. So this one was half of an egg and I just put it on cardboard, you guys. Covered in green and white check, the background's green and white check. And there's a bunny carrying eggs. So those are really cute. They're, I'm gonna do a DIY and I'm kinda, I'll show you how I make them. So make sure to watch that video. It should be Easter DIY, I think part one. Then I also wanted to show you another way you can display your eggs, all your fancy eggs that I have in the apothecary jar. Put some beautiful grass, I used purple. I have so much purple Easter grass. And I just put them in a little bowl See on either side here and put some flowers in it and it's really pretty. Then I have a little egg holder here with a check that's holding some chocolate eggs that I have. This one's all done in yellow and orange. These little eggs came from Dollar Tree. I've had these chicks forever. And I put some little carrots in it. Or you can do a very sweet one with pink and pastels. And I just put a little lace on the side here. You can never go wrong, wrong with bird's nest. You can use bird's, bird's nest to display eggs for spring and Easter and even fall. All right, you guys, we got bunnies coming up next. I hope you like this egg extravaganza. Welcome to my bunny table and friends. You guys, I did a collection for you of eggs. Now I wanna show you my collection of bunnies and how you can arrange them in arrangements with different color schemes. Let's start on the left-hand side. So I kind of group these bunnies as far as texture goes and how they look. These, this is my collection of straw bunnies. You might recognize them from my mantle arrangement in my den. Now, I wanted to show you, so the color scheme here is of course natural burlap color. Um, I also added the green and white polka dot uh, ribbons. You could do green and white check would look really cute. But since there's a lot of orange for the carrots, I thought this color scheme went really well with these bunnies. The big bunny back there with the little baskets. I stuffed those full of carrots from Dollar Tree. Here's his two little helpers. They have matching bows on, and then I have a little crate full of carrots, and they're holding carrots. And along with this color scheme of green, white, straw, and orange, I also like the yellow. So I've included the little chicks. So this table's bunny and friends. <laughs> so these are other springtime friends that have come to join the bunnies. You can see here with the little chicks in it in the orange eggs and orange carrots. And then here's Mama Duck with her yellow and white bow on her head. And she's gazing at her little baby duck here. The other ones ran off, she's gotta go find it. And these are the little baby ducks from Hobby Lobby and the little baby chicks from Hobby Lobby. But this is kind of my yellow, orange, and straw theme with green. Here's the biggest bunny I have. And I have him dressed up in a really refreshing, beautiful color scheme of beige and white. I got the ribbon at Michael's with these beautiful blue hydrangeas from Michael's. And he actually has a little, um, a little basket down here and I just put some more hydrangeas and then I put some, oh, what are these called? A morning glories, I think. Now those I got from Dollar Tree. But look how beautiful the chocolate bunny with the beige and white and blue. I love brown and blue. I think it's so beautiful. Now I also have a little topiary bunny here and I did a blue and white check ribbon and some more of that hydrangea. That ribbon came from Dollar Tree. And I have two more chocolate bunnies here with the blue and white ribbons. I love the brown and white and blue. It's just beautiful. And then the little beige bunnies came from um, Hobby Lobby. Now down the center of the table, I have your classic white bunny. Now I painted him so many times, I, in fact, I forgot to put eyes on him. Now I did a, um, I love gingham, you guys. <laughs> I did a pink and white gingham bow and the little sweet little roses. 
So if you wanna do pink, white, and green, that's another beautiful color scheme for Easter. And I added next to him a little nest with some pink eggs and lace. You could add lace to this, you could add a print. Pink, white, and green is so beautiful. Now I've continued <laughs> the purple, purpley, lilac, pinky theme with my dear little um, lamb family. So I just put little lilacs um, on their head like little crowns for springtime. You could do bows, you could do all kinds of things. These little cuties came from Joann's. And there they are, you can see them better now. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection of my spring and Easter bunnies and friends. I hope you liked it. I hope you got inspired and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.